Before we get into the show and introduce today's guest, I would just like to thank United Medical Credit for being sponsors of this podcast and of the Business of Dentistry. As a matter of fact, they have a special offer for Business of Dentistry members, 0% merchant fees for the rest of the year, and 30% discount for life after that. You can get that special deal by either going to DocOffInvestments.com and clicking on the deal section, or by going directly to www.unitedmedicalcredit.com forward slash TBOD. Thanks again, UMC. Welcome to the Dear Doc Podcast, where we will discuss the business of running a dental practice with a panel of experts. Now, your host, Dr. Christopher Hoffpower. Hey guys, it's Dr. Huffbauer coming to you from my studio here in Alvin, Texas with a very special guest and a friend of mine, Dr. Anissa Holmes. Now, you may know Dr. Anissa Holmes from some of the excellent training that she has provided previously with her Platinum Coaching Program and her Delivering Wow Program, but she's got something brand new. And to be honest with you, she's coming on tonight because she's got this huge give. Uh, She's about to do something for a lot of you for free that frankly, you would be paying a lot of money for otherwise. So Anissa, without further ado, Garland, how have you been? It's been a while. It has been a while. And it's so amazing to see you and all of the things that are happening. You know, I've been um, really getting into the group now and just participating and just doing experience shares and learning. And so I just want to edify you for what you've built. You know, we spoke a few weeks ago on the phone and I was just like, you know what? You should be really proud of all the hard work that you've put in over the last, you know, five, six years building this incredible community. And, you know, people are learning and helping each other grow. And, you know, I just want to give you kudos to all of your hard work because I know it's not easy, right? So I I, I know you know, but I'll tell you in all honesty, um, all I did was set the tone. We've just got some amazing members and um, they, uh, the, the people who didn't appreciate what we were trying to build in the community that we were trying to create, they left. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that's cool because there's a, a place for everyone. This just, just wasn't their place. Um, but the ones who stayed have made this community so strong. Uh, I'm, I'm super proud of them. I'm, I'm proud to have been part of beginning it and part of getting that ball rolling, but I mean, the, the kudos have to go out to, to our group members. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, first of all, I just want to come on, you know, we were on the phone a few weeks ago and I was sharing with you, you know, like, let's catch up. What have you been up to? And I said, you know, for me, the last few months have been all about how can I give, how can I serve? And I've had a lot of life changes, as some of you guys know, I'm now living in Fort Lauderdale. And about six months ago, I actually went to Sarah, which you know, on my team, and I said, Sarah, how can I help more people, right? We've got our coaching programs, we've got all of our online training programs, but like, wouldn't it be really cool if, um, and in the past, we've had these business boot camps where we help doctors to understand how to be able to put in systems of, of accountability, how to be able to improve case acceptance, how to be able to understand if you can even go out of network, how do you hire effectively, how do you look at behavioral styles when you're hiring, right? How do we use the whiteboards and the scorecards and all of the tools? And, and, so- and I actually, I went through those programs. I did pick up a lot of things that I used in my practice to help me to become very successful very quickly. Um, and, and I'm not going to lie, they were not inexpensive, but they were worth every penny. That's why I'm totally floored by what you're doing right now. And, um, you know, I, I, I want to tell people, go ahead and look in the description. There's a link right there. You can sign up at any point. But um, Anissa, tell us what you're, what you're launching here, what you're about to do for the dental uh, world. Absolutely. So um, as I shared before, and I know you've been through um, our boot camp. So uh, a few years ago, probably five, six years ago, we started doing these online boot camps. And the program was about 5K, right? So you come in and over four weeks or actually four months, we actually do a training every other week. And what we started to see is that doctors were using the tools like the whiteboards. 
And all of a sudden, like the very next month, they're growing by twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, right? right. Um, we started looking at how do you hire effectively? How do you build um, that community within your practice? How are, we, how are we actually marketing our practice? And so I told Sarah, I said, Sarah, what if we just did this? What if we just made it free? <laughs> right? Like my ultimate goal is how can we help more colleagues? And so what's really interesting is back in October, we actually did a free business boot camp, and it was our same exact curriculum, but we actually opened it up for free. And what's really cool is we had over 300 practice owners that went through this program and we're able to help them. And with the case acceptance on day two, we actually teach case acceptance and we teach, um, I spent a few years really trying to understand case acceptance, spending time understanding persuasion, neuro-linguistic programming. And I actually started creating frameworks. These are some of the frameworks. I don't know if you, how many of you guys are gonna be at AACD. I'm actually keynoting this year, which is crazy. Um, and so we started teaching these frameworks. And so the very next day in boot camp. Doctors were coming on and are like, we just did an extra $10,000 with the frameworks that you yep. taught yesterday, right? And like, it was just crazy. And so we actually did it again in January and the same thing happened. And so now like we've been able to help over 600 practice owners, which is phenomenal to be able to grow, scale, build great team systems for accountability. Um, and so we're actually going to be doing it again. And so, um, so we were chatting and you're like, you know, I'd love for you to come on and share because a lot of things that what we're hearing, you're hearing in this Facebook group, I'm hearing in my Dental Biz Chicks Facebook group, um, are really like, how do we add that accountability? How do we build and leverage so my team are doing things as things are not something to practice? We're actually going to teach you how to do that. How do we reverse engineer our numbers? A lot of people are asking now, I see this a lot in this Facebook group. It's like, I want to go out of network. How do I do right. that? Right. And, and the you first know, thing that's I mean, one of, you know, that has always been one of my biggest focuses. Is. So I'm so proud that we have so many members who are considering doing that now. And I, I think insurance Mageddon has come down and people are starting to realize that they've been trapped and there's, they're, they're between a rock and a hard place. What you're teaching right now is so fundamentally important for people to be able to go out of network. And I'm one of the success stories. I mean, you, you've known me for a long time. I started my practice in 2013 and by 2021, I'd sold it and I was producing 145, collecting 145, I should say, because that's important, a year working three days a week in three chairs. I didn't have an enormous practice. I just had really good systems. And what you're teaching right now is going to help to free so many people. And it's not going to help just the dentists. It's going to help their teams. It's going to help their patients because they're going to be able to give, give their patients the attention that they need. The, the time that they want, the time we should spend with them. So I, I can't say enough how excited I am about you bringing this program to our group. No, I'm excited. And what I'm really excited about, so we've had some incredible success with, um, with doctors that I've worked with transparently in the coaching program, right? And, and one of the things that we do, and I love strategy, right? And so the question is, how did you get your knowledge, right? So of course, I'm a dentist, I built a dental practice, that's a multi million dollar business, right? With people processes and tools, I now have four associates, it actually runs without me. I've invested in business scale coaching, I became an EOS professional implementer. Um, I was with action coach for a while. So there have been a lot of different things that have happened. But I'm really am a strategist. And so one of the things we started to look at is how do we look at what happened last year in your business? and actually create a circle of focus or a roadmap based on behaviors that happened last year. And so we typically say, well, what do you, what, what, what happened last year? What if we focused on more vivos or more sleep in Q1? Because you were doing a little bit of it, but what if we really focus on it? What if we gave you the verbal skills? And so in boot camp, we're gonna actually teach you those frameworks for increasing say, case acceptance. And we're gonna teach you how to actually reverse engineer. These same strategies have helped doctors, it's crazy. Chris, like be able to grow by an extra million. It's crazy. One of the doctors I was working to was a lady dentist. Her husband is a man, like they're both dentists. And she said, Anissa, we're doing this strategy call. And I said, do you see how you can actually grow by an extra million? And it was really reverse engineering. You said you want to do sleep, but you've only done like three appliances. What if we actually focused on it? You know, could you do four? 
Here are the verbals. Here are how we're tracking it on a whiteboard. So now you have the whole process. Do you see that you could do, could you do four? She's like, yes. So we're going to track the number of sleep rings. Do you see next month how you could do four and then four and then start to do six? At the end of the year, I'm like, you could have an extra half a million. Do you see it? Is this possible? And it was two doctors and she said, yes. And so let's talk about implants in Q2 right? So we're going to talk about implants and what are we going to start learning for Q3? Maybe it's going to be Perio Protect. We reverse engineered a strategy plan that they would have an extra million. And she's like, and this, so this is crazy. She said, you know, I always hear about people saying I grew by a million. Like you hear that in all of the Facebook groups, right. but people are not talking about like, how did they did that? You just showed it's, me the strategy of all, how. It's, it's all just, intention. It's, it's, if it's, if it's you don't strategy. have intention, you can't do it. And exactly. She, well, what you what she said was really cool, which was really interesting. And she says, I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to build a million dollar extra practice. You know why? Because I am already tired. Mm -hmm. I'm burnt out. I got to take care of my husband. I got to take care of my kids. And I thought I was going to have to work so much harder to be able to get that extra revenue. And honestly, I wasn't willing to do the work. Business but you is just not showed productivity. Me, yeah, you, you, no, you know, it's, it's not about doing more work. It's about understanding, like, what are you going to focus on? What were your behaviors last year that you said you were going to do that you actually didn't do? What if we focus on it? And, you know, we start talking about case acceptance and the key for case acceptance for me, I started geeking out on, I'm like, I don't understand how people are teaching. I couldn't get it for myself. Like educating is not the answer for me. It's like really asking those questions, you know, and, and asking, you know, what are your goals for your teeth, your smile? in your mouth. Huh? What else? Huh? Anything else? Right? Let me see if I've got this correctly. So you're showing that you're listening and say, you know, this is really, you know, why is this important to you now? Why not tomorrow? Why not yesterday? Why now? Right? And so now we're talking about it. People always say, bring patience to emotions. That was confusing to me. I couldn't get it. And I was like, there's something that people know people that are getting us to buy that bigger uh, bottle of wine when we go out or buy that car that we didn't really plan on buying. Like there's mm -hmm. some psychology there. And I started to geek out on it. And I started to implement it in my practice. I started to teach on it, do workshops on it. And all of a sudden, like I'm seeing doctors within two, three months coming to me saying, I implemented what you did. And all of a sudden we're growing by 20, 30,000. So thank you so much for inviting me to come on and share Absolutely. what we're doing in boot camp. I want to help as many people as we can. It's completely free. Um, I was going to say, before we go any further, let me, yeah. let me do a real st quick station identification. Hey guys, you are listening to Dr. Christopher Huffpower from my home studio here in Alvin, Texas. We're talking with Anissa Holmes and she is talking to you about a free program that she used to charge several thousand dollars for that she's just giving away. So um, if you want to continue to suck at business and you, you want to fail in your practice, go ahead and tune us out. If you would like to hear more about how you can be more successful, less stressed, make more money, have more time with your family and more time to treat your patients the way that you should, then go ahead and give this a listen. Now, Anissa, you brought something up a little bit earlier, and we talked about planning, we talked about strategy, and, and one of the things that I've always believed in is the new car effect, okay? You go out, and you're thinking about buying this car. You may even have the exact color in mind, you know, the features you want, you research it, because, I mean, we're, most of us are engineers, right? So you go out, you buy that car. All of a sudden, the next day, every other car you see on the highway looks just like yours, and Why? It's because you've committed to something, you're paying attention to it. When you commit to something in your practice and you pay attention to it, what's going to naturally happen is you're going to see more of it. And if you're closing, like most dentists, sadly, only 25% of your cases, but you're seeing five times as much, even without learning how to talk to patients correctly, which is important, even without learning that, just the intention on growing that part of your practice is going to be phenomenal. Vanessa? I tell you what's gonna, I tell you what's gonna be even more phenomenal. And this, this is the huge aha that happens on day three. So this is a four night boot camp, May 2nd through 5th. It's gonna be in the evening. We're giving out CE. So CE is included for free, right? But the biggest aha, and this is what's driving me to keep doing these boot camps, right? Because what happens is that I, and I talked about it, I actually commented on it 
on a post here in this Facebook group. And it was about the insurances and it was about Delta Dental. I call it the double D, right? But recently, as I started to do these strategy sessions, right, what I realized that there were several doctors, it was a repeated pattern. They've got a $2 million practice. That looks awesome. And they're like coming to me on this, like, help me make the three. What's and their I'm net? looking at it. I'm, no, What's I'm looking net? at That's it. That's the only thing that matters. No, no, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, you're producing 2 million. You're collecting 1.3 yep. or you're producing 600,000. Maybe it's a younger practice and you're collecting 249,000. Wait, before we talk about marketing and case acceptance, like the 200 million, 200, the $2 million practice, they probably are pretty good with marketing. They're probably pretty good with case acceptance. They're doing $2 million, but like, let's talk they're about paying, your- They're paying attention to the wrong numbers. Oh, exactly. I'm like, let's look at your case acceptance percentage. So what we do together, I'm going to give you the templates in boot camp. is I'm going to teach you how to understand how much it actually costs you to do a simple procedure like a filling. Like, do you really, guys, like, do you know how much it costs you to do a filling? Like anybody knows the actual cost, right? In your own practice. I'm sure you do. But I can tell you when I speak at conferences, when I do workshops, typically I'm like, guys, can we be real for a minute? Like, it's okay. Like no judgment here, honestly, because I didn't know this until I learned it myself. Hi folks. This is Doc Huffpower, founder of the business of dentistry and host of the Dear Doc podcast. Before we go any further, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one of our fine sponsors, Dentamax. Now I've been able to land a phenomenal deal for all of our TBOD members and our listeners on the Dentamax Dream Sensor. Before I jump into the offer, if you didn't already know, Dentamax offers high quality dental sensors. They sent me one of their dream sensors to try out my office and my staff just raved about it. If you're picky about image quality, Dentamax has you covered. When you get your sensor in, a technician will help you by setting it up so that you get clear, concise images all of the time. In fact, they can even set it to mimic a sensor that you had before that you like the image on. All you have to do is share which one it was. It has a tough, durable housing, and it's backed by a three-year manufacturer warranty, which is one of the longest warranties in the industry. I also like the thin design. With the beveled corners, it makes it easy to place in the patient's mouth, and it's pretty comfortable. Now, I know a lot of you may be worried, will this work with my imaging software? You don't have to worry there. Denimax has you covered there as well. Dynamax Dream Sensor works with virtually all software. In fact, it's usually plug and play. and You never even have to use a Twain driver. I'm excited to share this special with you because David Ornette, Dynamax's CEO, was willing to give us a really great deal. All of our members can try the Dynamax Dream Sensor for free. That's right. They'll ship it out to you and let you use it for two weeks. In fact, they'll even have their technician dial it in on your systems to make sure it looks as good as possible. Now, all you have to do to get this offer is go to denimax.com forward slash TBOD. But guys, that's not it. Denimax is going to give you $3,000 off of their retail price plus a $200 discount above and beyond that just for being a member of this community. So you can get a size one sensor for just $27.99 and a size two sensor for $37.99. It's a really great deal on a really great sensor, but you don't have much time to wait because this deal ends on July 4th. So go ahead and go to dendamax.com forward slash TBOD, check out the deal and celebrate your freedom from high prices. Thanks again, folks. This is Doc Huffpower. Let's get back to the show. How many of you like understand it was, it was really me understanding profit margins and applying it to my practice. Right. Mm-hmm. And most people I find when we do this exercise, it's costing them $120 and that's including the supplies, the team cost per hour, the, the rent, when you break it down, Which, by the, the way, time. all of that has gone up in the last year. <laughs> It's crazy, and especially with inflation. And so typically what we see when we do this exercise is people like, holy crap, I'm upside down. And so I'm like, we're not going to talk about marketing. We are not talking about case acceptance. 
we need to talk about what's going on with your insurance. And so we're actually going to look at that. Or if you decide to take PPOs, how can we make it profitable based on how you schedule? Because like, if you do all of your procedures in one visit instead of four, guess what? Right. It's one needle instead of four. And so now you have more profitability. Well, and your so, setup fee, before, before all this craziness hit, oh, your crazy, setup right? fee was between 15 and $19 per, per chair setup, per room setup for turnover. Now it's got to be 25 I mean, it's got to be at least 25 whenever you look at the race and labor too. So yeah, you the, guys the need to start paying cost, attention to this stuff. It's definitely that. So it's labor costs for the time that you're there. It is your fixed expenses, your, your rent, your power bill, your phone bill. Like we don't even think about that. And then let alone how many of us are like, can we be real for a minute? Giving discounts to friends and family and cousin and brother and sister and everybody we go to church with. Oh, everybody. Right? Like when we, and how many people are not sending out statements if the balance is less than $10? Like, is it just me? Am I the only one that used to do that, right? When I had the knowledge, I was able to now say, you know what, I'm an informed business owner. And so for me, my mission, right, to within what I'm doing now, right, is like, I want to be able to empower, empower colleagues, because I'm a real dentist. Like I've been in the trenches. I have a real practice. I understand and if I can empower you with that knowledge, you know, then honestly, and I hear, you know, and I hear back and that makes me feel good. People are like, oh my God, I learned that. And then I implemented, and this is what happened. And now I had more money and then I'll invest in my team and I took care of my team and I'm doing things for my community. Like guys, that's what this is all about. That's why we went into dentistry because we want to be able to help people. Like we want to be able to heal people. Right. A lot of times people say, well, you know, oh, this is a coach and we we're kind of skeptical of them. It is what it is. Right. But ultimately, I can tell you that a lot of people that I see in this very group. They want to help people. They're like, this was my experience. And if I can share it with you, it's going to save you time. And you're not going to make those same freaking mistakes that I made. You know, and, and so you know, the thing, the thing is, is many of us are so skeptical because we, we've been run through the coals so much. I mean, yeah. You know, Anessa, you've known me for a long time. You know how much crap I got and how many people said, oh, that guy's a fake and this and that and the other. And then all of a sudden, when I sold my practice, what I sold it for, and I retired at the age of 46, crickets. Yeah. Nothing but crickets. Guys, a lot of us just want to help. A lot of us just want to make a difference. And it's not because we're making a, a ton of money doing it. It's because we actually care. And the guys who are out there running their damn mouths, they don't. They care about them. You know, absolutely. And, and I, you know, I'll tell you, I am a business coach and transparency I am, you know, but for me, what's important is earning an opportunity to be able to work with other colleagues, right? Earning an opportunity. So for me, it's just like with our patients, you know, we take care of them, we serve them and those who want to continue to come to us too, Right. Um, in this program, I don't have the capacity to take on the number of people that are going to join our boot camp. I don't have that capacity. I'm one person, right? I do real strategy calls, right? But if I can, at the end of the day, say by 2023, which is my goal, to be able to help and empower 3,000 more colleagues to be able to have knowledge, to be able to free themselves from the insurance, if you choose to, to be able to make more in your business so you can change the lives of your teams. Like I have, like, I don't apologize that my team members have bought their first homes, their first cars, even on my coaching team. Some of you guys know Sarah, you know, Ashley, you're following her. Some of you guys on social media, first home, she's fixed up her smile all because I believe in them. Like, I love seeing people take care of their people. You know, my daddy said, and people are like, how do you build a great, how do I build a great, great dental business? How did I build a great coaching business? My daddy always said, you take care of people, they'll take care of you. Absolutely. So how do we, you know, how do we build those teams? And we'll talk about Matt, that actually on day one. So, and you know, really the thing is you and I, you and I come from a very similar background, by the way, guys, before I get into this, um, if you have a question for Dr. Nessa Holmes, drop it in the comment section below. And if you have a question for me, drop it in the comment section below. We're here to help. But Anissa and I both came from Laf Lafayette, Louisiana. She came from Borough Bridge, which is kind of like, you know, Lafayette's <laughs> little sister. But um, it, it's part of our culture that the way that you treat the lowest amongst the people that you meet when no one's watching, that's who you are. 
And if you're not treating the janitor the same way you're treating the CEO, it speaks volumes of who you are. That's why you have to take care of your people. Because when people ask them, do I need this? They're going to reflect on how you treat them as to whether or not you're a person who is of honorable intent. And when they think about the fact that you treat them well and generously, they're going to reflect that to the patients. And you're going to close more cases just because of that. It's so powerful. And like one of the things that we're, we're actually going to do this on day one of boot camp. But guys, if you haven't like signed up, just sign up. Um, it's bizchicks.com forward slash TV. Oh, wait, hold on. Point up. Right there. Bizchicks.com. That's, that's where that link is. TBOD. Just click that link. But, but I will tell you, how do you build an empowered team? So right now I have, I retired at 20 years of clinical. Why? Because I freaking love to teach. I love to teach. I love to coach. I love to train. I love to speak. This is what I love to do in this phase. It's almost like people come out of dental school and they're like, I just want to go back and teach at the dental school. Like I love geek out on this stuff. Right. Um, but what's really interesting is people ask me, well, how do you have a practice that's not in your city that's running that's giving you like, I just took out Systems, last, baby. Yes, yes, yeah, yesterday profits from Q1. We have zero debt. Like it, it didn't just happen because I wanted it. Like I freaking did the work, right? But here's the thing. It's true. It is. It's I, the easy. I wish it was that like, easy because I like, really no, wanted it. You know, never freaking easy. Like you do the like. It's it's. it's a, I call it the easy hard principle. Like you do the hard stuff now, so it can be easy forever, or you just take it easy now, and it'll be hard forever. So like you have to do the hard work. But one of the things that I talk about, and I'm going to talk about this on day one, and teach you how to do this with your teams, right? It's really asking your teams. And I do this when I train teams, when I'm in workshops. I'm like, how many of you guys want more? Can we be real for a minute? How, how many of you want more for your kids than you had growing up? Like, I don't care if your doctor is watching you. Doctors, I don't care if your team's watching you. Like, how many of you want more? You know, because we're all the same. We're all people. And so here's the thing. Like, this business is how we can take care of people. And at the same time, allow us to be able to do more for our families without apologizing. I don't apologize that my kids, I can afford when they say, mom, I want to go to the summer program this summer at Columbia. I don't apologize that I can afford and say, yes, babes, no problem. I don't afford when my aging parents are saying, can you help me out? I got to fix my car. I don't apologize for that. I don't apologize when my team members come to me. And they're saying, doc, I really want to be able to do this for my family. I'm like, we're going to make that happen for you, right? And so we're going to talk about how do we have your team to understand that at the end of the day, like you pick up that table by yourself is heavy. You and your office manager do it. It's still a little heavy. But if we have everybody pick up that table, we can walk across so much faster. We can serve way more people. Things are not slipping through the cracks. Um, so we're going to talk about that in, in, in day one but also talk about those tools that will hold us accountable because it's always people, processes, and tools. The person is the team member. The process is every Monday they do this. And what tool do they hold themselves accountable for? Whether it's going to be a whiteboard for the services that you're doing, whether it's going to be a scorecard weekly looking at your AR, looking at your uh, doctor production per visit, your case acceptance per percentage. So we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in boot camp. Um, again, we have created a program where we in the past have actually had um, four months and every other week, and we've actually condensed it into a one week program because I know everybody's busy and everybody wants to get this knowledge. And the question is like, like, why now? Right. And, and the thing is that like, it's costing us too much not to have the knowledge, right? It's Absolutely. costing us too much in terms of the lost revenue that we can make once we learn. It's costing us too much in terms of our relationships with our kids and our partners because we're working so hard. And it's costing us too much in our own personal health because maybe we don't have time to do things for ourselves because we're working all the time. And so that's why it's really important to build leverage, have tools, understand what's happening. And that's why I'm so excited um, to have all of you guys in our upcoming boot camp. Um, that's going to be starting on May 2nd. We do have um, CE that's going to be included. Um, and boot camp is every night, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we do have a VIP option. And so if you want to 
have an additional hour of training. If you want to be able to get the workbook with all of our templates, um, you can choose that VIP option if you'd like. If I'm not um, mistaken, again, you've, got a, you've got a hiring workbook in there as well. I was yes, talking to Sarah yes. about that's, yes. that's fantastic. I've actually yes. used some of those forms. We're actually going to talk about that on day four. Day four is all about hiring. How do you group interviews? How do you hire based on behavioral styles? What are the questions that you can ask? And, pre, pre, and we actually show you, which is really cool, how to, if you choose to, on your website, always be hiring. So actually creating a WUFU, or any sort of survey where you can collect information. And I teach you how to do that, where you can have your core values on your website. You can have you know, asking questions about, you know, are you able to work Saturdays and what are your goals in the next five years? And so we actually teach the process of, of really narrowing down before you get in. And that way you can actually hire people based on core values. You know, we'll ask them what, what core value of ours resonates with you the most, right? So they know that when they're coming, they're coming somewhere very, very different and it's family. And so, yeah, day four is all about hiring. How do you find the rock stars? How do you hire? Even in this climate, I get it. Um, I know what's going on. There's a lot of people saying I need to have a hygienist. How do we build practices where people flock to us? Right. And so we're going to talk about that as well. Fantastic. I, I, I know one of the things that we, uh, we always disagreed on was moles. I love my moles in, in the group interviews. But guys, so great program coming up here. And uh, Dr. Holmes, where is that link? Was that right up there? I, I think it's up here. So um, we'd love to be able to see all, see all of you guys free eats, free C. So it's bizchicks.com forward slash TBOD. Um, and so I'd love to be able to help you spread the word. Um, it was really cool when we did our boot camp back in October. Uh, we actually had watch parties, which was crazy. So we had groups of doctors that were at somebody's house watching boot camp. They were doing it together. They were having That's wine. Fantastic. It was like <laughs> it was like a watch party. So maybe you can create a watch party with other colleagues in your area. Um, and actually, again, just um, you've got the link there. Share that with them. We'd love to be able to help you and help as many as we can. I, I love that. And I love the culture that the people who go to you for coaching end up creating, uh, both in their own teams and amongst their, their brethren. Uh, guys, we are stronger together than we are alone. We're greater together than the sum of our parts. If you haven't been to a program like this, this is your opportunity to do so for free. Get some free CE, maybe learn something, leave, come back the next day to your office and make more money, be happier, and have a better team. Dr. Nissa Holmes, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Guys, if you have any questions at all, click the link above or drop, drop a question down below and just tag Anissa. She'll answer it. She's in the group. Um, thank you all for joining us and thank you for supporting the Dear Doc podcasts and the business. There's very little better than free knowledge that empowers you and um, helps you to build your dreams. Chris, I for just now, want to thank you. Please, yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much for having me. And again, just congrats for everything that you've done to build this incredible community. Like you're saving so many hours of frustration and time what people are learning um, through your community and just helping people to be able to be better leaders and better entrepreneurs. And so again, just kudos to you and all of your hard work. Thanks, Nessa. Guys, thank you for joining us tonight. Have a great night. See you later. Hey guys, this is Doc Huffpower, founder of the Business of Dentistry and host of the Dear Doc podcast. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one of our sponsors. 4G Dental Labs has been a sponsor of the Business of Dentistry for over two years now. They're a family-owned business located here in Houston, Texas. They're fast, they're reliable, but best of all, they provide affordable quality. They're just plain, honest, good people. For our TVOD members, for your first 20 crowns, every fifth one will be free. Contact 4G Dental Labs at 833-682-8901. Again, that's 833-682-8901. Or you can mail or even just stop by. Jeff Guidi, the owner, would be glad to see you. 
Thanks for listening to the Dear Doc Podcast, your source for the business and legal questions associated with your dental practice. Don't forget to subscribe to the Dear Doc Podcast on all major platforms.